Hello friends, it is 4.30 a.m. I have had two days of a really rough sleep and yesterday I didn't film a lot because I ended up getting a headache in the afternoon which I know has to do with not getting enough sleep. I've gone about like four and a half hours the last two nights which is rare for me. I had been doing so well with my sleep patterns but I don't know what it is. I've like purposely been really thoughtful about caffeine, all of the things, but for some reason, just off schedule. This morning, I am feeling like a smoothie and I'm actually very proud of myself. So I've seen many influencers sharing this blender recently however i have had it for about a year it is the beast blender what i love is i think i bought it before it was for sale anywhere else so i like bought it off their original website mine came with the blender like you screw this in to that but mine also came with this like smaller one that has like a lid which is really nice for work And then a regular cap for the bottle. And then also like this drinking cap. I don't know if all the sets come with this piece, but I do know they come with the larger one. I don't know. I will leave it linked below because it truly is one of the best blenders I've ever had. Up until this point, I'm gonna date myself, I was actually using the Skinny Girl Blender by Bethany Frankel. Yes, at one time she had a blender. I'm going to build my smoothie for all of you. Also, if your bananas are starting to go bad, dice them up, throw them in a freezer bag, and throw them in the freezer for your smoothies. Okay, some strawberry. One scoop of protein powder. I've been using the Tone It Up Chocolate Protein Powder from um, Target. It is completely plant-based. It's non-GMO, it's dairy-free, 15 grams of protein. It tastes really good. I'm also going to add a little bit of PB2. Now, to make my smoothie a little bit more filling, I always add about like one and a half spoons of oatmeal. It helps with texture. It fills you up a little bit more. I also always add a splash of almond extract to my smoothies. I think it makes such a difference in the taste. I always just give it like a quick little shake. And then what's great about this is you just click it in and then press the button. Grab a straw. I mean, it blends perfectly. I love that it's small, so if you have to leave it out, it has a very small footprint. but it's also just so easy to put away. I'm a fan of almond extract, and I think it's like a game changer in a smoothie. Mm. All right, I'm gonna drink this, probably have some water, a cup of coffee, and then get my workout done. I have not been able to film much today, so this video is going to be super short, but I'm go I think I'm going to go into next week and do videos throughout the week, but we have a big announcement, and you'll understand why I've been busy <laughs> the last two days. I have someone to share with you. 
Say hello to everybody. Say hello. Hi. Say hello. Hi. Hi, you were seeping. She's very tired. <laughs> Hi. Hi, love bugs. This, my friends, is Mabel. Say hi. Say hello. Let me tell you a little bit about her story. So her and a group of dogs were actually rescued from a puppy mill. They were pretty mistreated. She is really underweight right now. Like you can actually see and feel her ribs. We are working on getting her all fed and loved on. She's a little timid right now. She's not interacting with us a whole lot. She actually is spending most of her time in here, but she is such a love bug. We are going to have to shave her down because some of her fur is really matted. She's a standard poodle, so she's going to get pretty big, probably a little bit taller and bigger than Bubba's. <gasps> hi, hi, say hi. <laughs> um, but She's our new kiddo. Welcome to the family. She is doing really, really well, and we could not be more excited. But she has been sleeping a lot. She's just exhausted. We're going to get her to our vet this week, but we couldn't be happier. So get ready to see Mabel in lots of videos, right? Are you going to be in many videos? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Her and Bubba's are getting along amazingly well. I'm actually going to cut this video pretty short. We've been so busy running errands and taking care of her and getting her settled, and tomorrow will be a regular vlog, and I have a bunch of things to share with you. But I had to share this announcement with you. <gasps> what? What? Come on, let's go. This way. She pawed at the door. Yeah. Come on, Mabel. You can do it. Come on. <gasps> Good girl. I just introduced her to everyone. Told them a little bit about her story. She's in the garage now. I'm going to take the cars for a spin. She's a mechanic. All right, friends, I am going to let you go. Tomorrow will be like a regular vlog with a lot more content, but I'm going to sign off because we have a little bit of work to do this evening with her. So take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Maybe we'll say goodbye to everyone.